Okay, so we're playing the math obby, so let's get started. Alright, let's go right here. This is the stages from 1 to 10. Let's see if we're, you know, let's see if we're smart. 2 plus 2, that's obviously 5, just kidding. It's 4. Oh, it's like math and obby. Okay, that's sick. So 7 plus 4. Wait, what is, what is, oh, that's a checkpoint. So 7 plus 4, you know, it's obviously 9, just kidding. It is 11. This is pretty simple math. And this is this is obviously eight. Nope, it's nine. It is nine. Shit, this is just a pretty cool concept. You know, using math, using what you learn at school in Roblox and doing obbies at the same time. What is this? This is sixteen, obviously. I mean I feel like the hardest part of this is this the obby. This is basic addition, alright? Basic addition. There's probably someone that's just, you know, flexing their math abilities. You know, their addition abilities. You know, I ought to be scared too. Alright, if someone knew what 2 plus 2 was, I would be scared. So this is 30. Boom. This is pretty easy so far. This is 24, 34. No way, how did I hit that? Yeah, the hardest part is just the obbies. I wanna see what happens when you go through the wrong one. So let's do this one. 40. Oh, you, you just die. Oh, okay. Fantastic, and I didn't hit the checkpoint. That's just great. Alright, so let's hope that, you know, the last few levels aren't just college math. Some calculus. But everything else we should be fine. Should be just simple math you learn in second grade. Five minus two. I mean three. <laughs> That's two. Alright, so this is four. Because, you know, nine minus five. You know, Jimmy has nine bread. Take five away from him. And he has four bread now. It's not even that good of an analogy or a problem, whatever you want to call it. Why is there just skulls? Why is there just random bones everywhere? I am so confused. 17 minus 11. So, you know, you basically get 17 soda cans. You drink 11 of them. Now there's 6 soda cans. If you're drinking 11 soda cans in one day, that's, it's kind of a problem. It's just a lot of sugar. So this is obviously 5 because, you know, 23 pieces of duck minus 18 pieces of chicken that's five 30 minus 15 boom it's 15 because you no know, 15 plus 15 is 30. this is obviously 23 obviously 23. 47 minus 24 you know you have 47 pencils and your friend jeremy ate 24 of them it's 23 pencils this one, I actually don't know. I uh, psych, I do know. Just took me a little while. <laughs> Usually the answers are just the most obvious one. Like, I literally, I didn't have to think there. Because there's no way it could be 34 or 28. That would just make no sense. So it has to be 44. Sometimes you just use common sense instead of actually doing the work. This is obviously 54. Alright, let's do some multiplication shall we two times one that's three all right i thought he was gonna fall for it oh my god it just speeds you up for no reason okay i understand it's obviously six and i'm not copying your answers all right i know what two times three is this is obviously 20. Boom, boom. This is 25. I thought it was going to be harder. I thought, I thought that was just a math. I thought this was a math obby, not a second grade obby. Doesn't even make sense. Oh my goodness. How did I not make that jump? It's 30. 
Okay, I'm gonna mess up on this jump, I know it. Yep, he messed up on the jump. This is 49. You know, if you don't believe it, it's 49. 7 times 7. 7 groups of 7. Oh my god. Literally, I don't even like. You just gotta memorize them. That's all you gotta do. Just memorize 1 times 2 is 2. 1 times 3 is 3. And you just go from 2 times 1 is 2. 2 times 2 is 4. And that's all you gotta do. Alright, you just gotta just sit in your room for two hours straight, just memorize them every day, and eventually, you'll know them. From the top of your head. So I recommend just remember, just remembering up to the, I'd say to like the, the 20 tables. You know, that would that'd be the most useful. So you, you know, you know what 16 times 3 is, which is like, I don't know, 48 or something. Okay, just remember to your 20s tables. Alright, get your 20s tables. It's 50. And now we're doing division. The last part of this obby. 8 divided by 2, that is 6. I mean 10. That's 4. I'm a genius. Now, the obbies are actually getting... Actually, they're not getting that hard. I just do this. I thought I could kneel jump it, but I can't. There has to be an. Ooh, is that possible? That could be possible. I'm pretty sure it could be. I don't know. Could be. I don't know about division though. Do you remember your division tables? You know, just sit there. <laughs> Doing 22 divided by 2. Actually, that, that wouldn't make sense. Memorizing division tables is, is just useless. Just do the opposite of multiplication. So you just do 3 times 12, 36. Boom. Go over here. That's what I do when I do you know the simple division. Not long division. I don't know how I don't know how they create these formulas. Like how did they even think of them, you know? Like who created who just thought of it just one day? They're like, hmm, let's just it's just a square plus b square equals c square. Like who just thinks of that, you know? I mean I, I know it's like some kind of genius, but like what pops up in your head like oh my god, you know, I found out the Paragon theorem or whatever formula there is. Like how do they figure it out? And do we even trust them? That's the problem. Alright, what if the formulas don't even make sense? You know? Actually, that's kind of a lie. Kind of is. Because the formulas, they actually work. So you can't just disprove them out of nowhere. So I don't know how to think of it, you know? We both thought it was 25. <laughs> that was embarrassing, not gonna lie. Pretty embarrassing. Oh, this is a Neil jump. This is obviously 26. Go 26. You don't have to think about it. Okay. What does this say? Challenge yourself. Dude, this is literally... Oh my goodness, okay, yeah, this this obby is actually quite hard. You told me to challenge myself, and I'm challenging myself. Oh my goodness, okay. Let's go. This is obviously 70. I was kind of thinking there for a little bit, because I didn't just fully grasp the numbers. I actually don't know how to do this part. Oh! When you just jump off there, oh, I think that's what you do. I can't do this part. Do we just do this? Yeah, we just do that. I thought you just had to do the widest Neo jump in the whole entire universe. Boom. This is 40. Let's go. Let's go. And now, we are just gods at math. This, this, this obby has taught us so much. And yeah, that's it for today, guys.
thank you guys for watching and bye